Hello and welcome to another episode of The Nerd Crew. Today's episode is sponsored by Loot Crate. Sorry, correction. Today's episode is sponsored by Habish and Rothman Bankruptcy Attorneys. They'll make it heaven to file Chapter 11. And I'm Jay, and I was told that I need to talk faster and in a higher pitch voice. You know, like a radio DJ or a member of Generation iPhone. Analytics says the slower you talk, the quicker someone swipes off the video. It's true. It's true. And uh, I'm Rich. Uh, I'm a graduate of the School of Radio Broadcast. Uh, I'm, I'm having a wonderful day today. How's, how's everyone else doing? And on today's episode of The Nerd Crew, we've got a lot of subjects to cover in the world of pop culture and entertainment. Topics like... The Sony Marvel divorce and what it means for the future of the MCU. And we've got new footage from Episode 9 and what it means for the future of Star Wars. And also a recap from all the events from D23 and what this means for the future of movies. Uh, and look, you got to talk faster, dude. More energy. They're going to replace us. You can only turn your hat so far sideways to hide the fact that you're 48, okay? But I'm 52. You're 52? No. 42. So apparently the arrangement that Sony had with Marvel to allow Spider-Man in the MCU had an expiration date. And just like spoiled milk, a lot of fans are sour on this idea. Damn straight. That's right, Mike. This is the first thing I can say isn't very cool. Fuck them! How dare anyone cross Disney? Fuck them! I don't know what's going to happen with Tom Holland, but I'm so fucking angry. Will they go back to Andrew Garfield? I don't know, Rich! We don't know! But fucking goddammit, we're fucking mad about this! Fuck you, Sony! Fuck off! <laughs> How fucking dare you make a sensible financial move! And what about Tobey Maguire? An elderly Spider-Man could be a fun twist. How dare anyone not allow Disney to maintain their media monopoly on every character ever created? Especially with how wonderfully they've handled Star Wars. I mean, remember this character? Is this Little Red Riding Hood? Is this a Polish immigrant? I think that's Princess Leia? Why is she wearing Old Navy clothes? Does she have anything to do with this? What is that? I don't know. Is that a Tribble? What is this? <sighs> Look guys, this is all too depressing. Let's move on. Now, before we get into all the details of D23, let's talk about Episode 9. Damn straight! The poster was finally released, and boy oh boy is it exciting. Take a look. Oh wow. Oh wow. 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 It's amazing. It's it's stunning. Very cool. You know, I just love fan art. You know, it's it's such a wonderful thing when kids learn to use Photoshop for the very first time. You know, someday this child might be a very good graphic design artist. Someday. That's right, Rich. Very cool. But seriously, Jay, let's see the real poster. This is clearly the cover of a child's coloring book. Or some kind of large print YA novel? Oh, no, guys, this is the real poster. It's not from Robot Chicken? Did Drew Struzan die? Did we do a video on that? No, he's still alive. What? Well, either way, I have to say, Ian McDermott looks great as Emperor Palpatine. I'm so excited that he's back. Oh, no, that's not him. It, it's a toy. They, they just photoshopped a toy. It, it's not an original artwork? The, the movie poster? A, a toy? Yeah, like they took a, a high-res image that already existed of a toy, and they just, they just put it on the poster. I literally don't believe you. You're not known for pranks, and we don't do pranks on each other on this show. That's an unspoken rule, uh, because sometimes we can't tell what footage from movies is real or not. Um, but you ain't pranking us, are you? Okay, I, I'm not fucking with you guys. This is the real poster. 
This is officially released. Let's move on. Now, this, of course, leads us into the trailer, which we can't really call a trailer. It's more like a clip show of past Star Wars films with a little bit of tease of episode nine, just a little tease. And just I'm just salivating for those new images. There was only six or seven, but... Well, the thing I'm excited about is that this film is continuing uh, the themes that Ryan Johnson set up in his film. You know, let the past die. Kill it if you have to. And they, they, they really expand on this by having half of the trailer just be footage of past films. Yeah, and even the new footage was all... Things we've seen before, Star Destroyer, C-3PO's. Every shot is either a ship or a lightsaber, and that's very cool. It, it is very cool. I, I think, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I think I heard Darth Vader. What about Ray? Who? You know, I have to say, guys, well, I, I, I definitely love Star Wars. We all love Star Wars. More, more than anything, eh. I don't know that I was very excited about this. What? what? What the fuck is he doing? I mean, there was some, a lot of images of things we saw before. There was, there was the, the Burning Man. There was Burning Man. That, that, that weird grid of Star Destroyers. Ah, it just didn't look like it had anything new to um, say. He's going off script. I, I, think, I think I'm just kind of sick of it. It's like... <laughs> He's bitching about Star Wars. Is he alt right? I love Star Wars. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Other stuff to report from the exciting world of pop culture and the D23 convention is the awesome array of new shows and movies coming to you, the consumer, via a variety of platforms and options. And who doesn't love options? While most people have subscriptions to live TV via cable or satellite through places like DirecTV, Dish Network, Cox, Comcast, Time Warner, or Spectrum. That's right, Jay. And people also have accounts with streaming services too, like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Sling, YouTube TV, and so on. Oh God, hold on. I gotta, I gotta write all of these down. I have nothing but a TV and rabbit ears at home. I've been getting nothing but static for years. I thought it was just me. Oh God, I gotta, I gotta sign up for all of these streaming services right now with this credit card I found on the ground in the parking lot. Rich, is, is that someone else's credit card? No. One thing that seemed to be a game changer at this year's D23 was all the new Marvel and Star Wars content that you can only see by paying another monthly fee on top of the hundreds of other monthly fees you already have. Aren't we supposed to be going into a recession soon? That means it's the perfect time to introduce hundreds and hundreds of new streaming services that will literally bankrupt the consumer. Mike, let me tell you, I love my Netflix subscription, and I'm going to keep that because I can watch Friends and The Office anytime I want. Not anymore, Jay. NBC and Universal are starting their own streaming service, and that'll be the only place where you could see those shows. Now, I heard after getting canceled that AP Bio will be on a streaming service, too. That's right. Will it be on Netflix? No. Well, since they're going to continue to make new episodes of AP Bio, will I still be able to watch it on NBC via my cable provider? That's extra. That's awesome. Another monthly fee. And it doesn't stop there. NBC owns other channels, too, like Bravo, E!, Sci-Fi, USA, and Oxygen. To see any shows from those networks, you'll need a separate streaming service. Wow. This is also exciting. And I also just signed up for Apple TV Plus, which will feature a reboot of Amazing Stories. Remember that? Oh, ooh, Apple TV Plus. Oh. Your grandfather told you about Amazing Stories. Jay, I've been waiting my whole life for the Amazing Stories reboot, especially after the Twilight Zone reboot on CBS All Access. What quality! I didn't feel tricked at all! Oh, I I'm signing up for Apple TV Plus and CBS All Access right now. Will that let me watch Star Trek? Yes. <gasps> and the movies too? No, you'll need Paramount Plus for that. Uh, let me sign up for that one. Um... 
Oh, oh, you know what? What about Babylon 5? I used to really like that show, but I lost my DVDs. No, that's on Warner Plus. No, wait. Warner Archive. Warner Plus is for movies and TV shows that are more recent than 10 years. 10 years or older is on Warner Archive. Unless it's something that's a co-production with Warner Brothers and Paramount, then it's on the Para Warner Plus streaming service. This is starting to sound confusing. How will I know what to watch where? Well, you can always consult this handy manual. <sighs> Babylon 5's under B. I think there's a downloadable version too. Okay. Oh, there's no index. It's not in alphabetical order. They're just listed randomly. But what I'm most excited for on Apple TV Plus is the new Reese Witherspoon talk show drama and the Oprah Winfrey documentary series. You know, Jay, I'm really surprised you're excited about that. I saw you more as a horror guy. Well, I am, which is why I'm also subscribed to Shudder's streaming service. That's the only place you can see the exclusive Nosferatu TV show starring Zachary Quinto. Oh my God, I've been waiting my whole life for that. Rich, you better sign up for Shudder too. Damn straight. But those aren't the only streaming services offering original programming. We can't forget about Vudu. Or Discovery Channel slash BBC. HBO Max. ABC Plus. The CW Plus. Fox Plus. Showtime Go. Stars Now. TNT Plus. Nick Now. FX Plus. FX Now. FX Plus Plus. FX Now Plus Plus Plus. MTV Minus, HGTV EX TV Plus, TLC Instant Now Wow, Food Network To Go, and so on. Wow, Jay, but isn't having a separate streaming service for every network kind of like having a cable TV subscription, just more expensive? But what does any of this have to do with Marvel or Star Wars? He's right, Mike. I hear there's going to be a new Obi-Wan Kenobi movie starring Ewan McGregor. Oh, well, th that's actually going to be a TV show that you could only see on Disney+. Plus. How much will Disney Plus be? The most basic package is $659 a month. That's cool! Did I mention I found this credit card on the ground in the parking lot? But Mike, what about the new Boba Fett movie, The Mandalorian? When is that going to be released in movie theaters? It won't. It's a TV show. Will Star Wars 9 be the last Star Wars movie released in movie theaters? Yes. So you should go sign up for Disney Plus right now, like a good loyal fan who remember the mantra. Loyalty to Disney. Loyalty to the brand. Loyalty is salvation. Loyalty is life. What other amazing content is coming to Disney Plus that can only be seen on Disney Plus? So you have to sign up for Disney Plus right away. Sign up for Disney Plus. Well, there's She-Hulk, Rhea and the Last Dragon, Spidey Amazing Friends, Phineas and Ferb the Movie, Candace Against the Universe. Will they have a Lizzie McGuire reboot? Yes, the Lizzie McGuire reboot. More Muppets no one wants. What about the Computer War tennis shoes? Absolutely. Then we have Ms. Marvel TV show, Loki TV show, Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV show, What If TV show, WandaVision TV show, Hawkeye TV show, Moon Knight TV show. That's fucking insane that so many TV shows will be designated to one streaming service. It's like I have to sign up for it or I'll literally die. So, in order to view all of this Marvel content, I have to be signed up to Disney Plus? Oh no! I'll be out of the loop. I have to sign up right now. I need to make comments on the internet. What was that? What? What is what? that? What? Oh no. In addition to owning the Muppets, Marvel, Star Wars, and the X-Men, Disney has just purchased Hasbro. 
Oh my god! That's fucking awesome! This is what I've always wanted! They're launching the new Hasbro Plus streaming service, which will feature interactive games and animated and live action original exclusive TV show content based on the following properties. Play-Doh, Cabbage Patch Kids, GoBots, Nerf, My Pet Monster, Mask, Pound Puppies, Hungry Hungry Hippos, Magic the Gathering, Candyland, Clue, Monopoly, and so many more! I literally just shit myself. They're going to exclusively feature the Battleship movie! Wow, that literally vanished off the face of the Earth! They brought it back for Hasbro Plus! Wow, I have nothing but free time to watch all of these original shows! Hollywood now employs more people than the federal government. Well, me personally, I'm very excited about a light, bright TV show. Imagine, every night at 3 a.m., a little girl wakes up to her light bright, displaying a message. It tells her who will die the next day and where. So she has to skip school to help stop this horrible, violent crime before it happens. Mike, isn't that a little dark for a children's light bright show? No pun intended. Shut the fuck up, Jay, you fucking <laughs> I'm gonna pitch this concept to Shudder. It's gonna be a co-production with Hasbro Plus. Don't you know how the fucking industry works? This is Hollywood, baby. We're on YouTube. Mike, if you knew about the industry so much, how come you weren't invited to the opening of Galaxy's Edge? Yeah, you don't have to come back for that, do you, motherfucker? Wait, stop, everybody! General Mills is starting up a new streaming service, G+, or The Mill to the Hip Kids. Oh my god. It's gonna feature new and exclusive animated and live-action TV shows based on everyone's favorite cereals. Boo Berry, Count Chocula, Cheerios... A cereal of cereals? Yeah, that's what he said. And shows about serial killers. On the General Mills yeah. streaming service? Oh. Well, the guy that started General Mills was a serial killer. Oh, very cool. He was a psychopath that murdered his whole family. But Rich, what about Captain Crunch? I've been waiting my whole adult life for an animated TV show about the adventures of Captain Crunch. <laughs> Mike, Captain Crunch is made by Quaker Oats, a division of Pepsi Company. Well, when will they start a streaming service? You know, every time I drink too much Pepsi, I have a streaming service. Don't quit your day job, which is a comedian. Wait, wait! DC just started a new streaming service! DC Plus! They're gonna... Oh, they're canceled. Oh god, what's happening now? <gasps> Disney just bought Exxon Mobil and Kroger, one of the largest grocery store companies in the U.S. Uh, uh, that's... that's awesome? Very cool? I, I, I think? Huh. So, so Disney's going to launch the new Disney Plus Basic Needs streaming service. Oh, Rich, that sounds awesome. Please tell me more. Okay, well, in order to get access to gas and food, you'll have to pay $159.99 a month, and uh, you and individual family members will be assigned a number designation. For example, D294984. It can be carried on you in a card format, or an arm tattoo can be applied, microchips coming in 2025. In order to purchase groceries, you'll have to launch the app and scan it at the register to ensure your fees have been paid and that Disney has allowed you clearance to purchase food. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> that really sounds like Disney is holding everybody hostage for basic everyday needs. <laughs> it's not just entertainment anymore. How does gas work? S same concept. You just scan the uh, Disney Plus basic needs app at the gas pump, and then you just enter in a simple 63-digit code, and you're all set to pump gas. Easy peasy. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to pass the background check, though. This is weird. Disney is also launching Disney Healthcare Plus, or Mickey Care. Yes, it, it, it looks like they're looking into buying up all of the public and private healthcare providers. Oh, God! All these new changes are stressing me out. 50 new Marvel TV shows, 100 new Star Wars TV shows. I, I just, I can't... Mike, I, uh, calm down. <sighs> Deep breaths. <sighs> <sighs> Mickey, play calming classical music. You got it, Mike! Uh -huh. <sighs> Mickey, reorder Valium from Dr. Habish. You got it, Mike! Uh -huh. Well, I think that's it for this episode of The Nerd Crew. We'll leave you with these publicity photos of the new Galaxy's Edge theme park provided to us by Disney State News. Enjoy. Well, guys... I've signed up for 198 streaming services at a cost of $26,000 a month. Sure hope my little TV here can handle all that data. Oh, well, oh, oh no! Oh god, shit! Shit, stop! Stop! Get... Stop! Oh! Oh my god, it can't handle it! It can't handle all the data! It can't handle Mandalorians! I... Oh my god! Oh, too much streaming! So much streaming! Rich, what happened to your TV?